So let's get started. The thing to remember is that we are unlikely to be able to use an Amazon site for this because Amazon do check that you're not scraping the site and can limit your access and stop you getting access to it as we go. So you probably are better off finding a different website to do this with. I've found a website that's selling a lighting panel and a and an audio interface that I'm looking to buy, but don't want to spend quite these prices on them. So I'm going to get this information into the database. First thing I want to do, of course, is bring in the database code, and then I'm going to set the database value. Now, once again, it'd probably be good to set it from a timestamp. So I'm going to get a time time to get a timestamp from there. I'm going to make it equal to a dictionary. The first thing is going to be the link. Let's go and get that. So I want that link there. The next one's going to be the price I'm the price it is currently. So I'm going to put none there for the moment. And then um, the level at which I'm willing to pay for it. So I'm willing to pay about 500 the same thing now for well, the second item yeah, well, that first one's got a big tracking link in it let's get rid of that there we go that looks more like it so if I run that now that should add both of those to the database hold on 500 is a bit of much for that that's 159 but let's say 120 I'm willing to pay for that so I run this it should add both keys to the database which it has done so let's make a subroutine for that. Something's not right there because that was I mean, that was, in, that was indenting me weirdly. I haven't deft it. That's what. <clears throat> so the next one would be um, let's make it a float, and we do that with rice. Oop. There we go. So that would be a decent subroutine to set those that I can use later if I need to. So what's next in my adventure? Well, I think the next thing we need to do is get that stuff in the database and start scraping with Beautiful Soup. Now, it probably makes sense to import all the libraries we need. And in that case, let's get the package manager up and install schedule. Oh, it's already there. Fantastic. So all that should be good. Nothing should change, hopefully. If I run it, there we go. So our next job is to get the keys from the database, pull out the links, and see if we can do something with that. So keys equals db.keys. That gets the keys. For key in keys, we need to extract the URL, which is db key. It. We've called it link, uh, the, pro the level of the price we're willing to pay. So let's pull the price as well. Price is DB key price, level, DB key level. Let's just run that, check there's nothing wrong with it. it. Seems to be okay. So once we've got all that in, we need to send it off to get the website. And this is where if we did it with Amazon, often that would fail. And it wouldn't return nothing. What it would do, it would return a web page, which is basically a page from Amazon saying, if you want to automatically take the data from our website, you need to pay us some money, which, you know, fair enough, but annoying for those of us that just want to scrape things from there. Pull that in, pass it, and let's have a look at what we need to investigate on this website. Now, of course, your mileage will change because your website will be different to mine. So let's inspect that and see if we can find out what makes a product. Well, there's, a, there's one called price. Let's see if I scrape price. And what was that? That was a div. So let's see. Soup.find all. I don't need my database open now. You can see a bit more of the code then. It was a div. The class was price uh, let's just see how many we found uh, requests isn't it hmm okay maybe I need that entire thing then oh that was a span with price in it so there we go let's see if I can pick it up this time 
One of each. Sounds good. Okay. So, what I want to do, let's just see if I can... There's only one coming back. I don't need to loop that at all, do I? I just need then to see if the price has, is different to the original. And if it is different to the original, update it. So let's do that first. Um, price equals my price zero dot text. Let's see if that works. Print the price. Now we've got that pound symbol before each one. So maybe we just go like that to get one onwards. There we go. If we float it, that should turn it into a number with a decimal. That's good. And then we can just go if price is not equal to, oh, hold on, we're reusing things now, aren't we? So this is, let's call this this price. If this price is not equal to price, then db key price is now equal to this price and if this price is lower than or less than or equal to the level then we need to print cheaper now we're going to see none of those what i need to do is go and update one of these uh update one of these values, I think. So I'm going to write a bit of code to change the price on the item. Actually, that should be that all the time, I think. So we need to announce then. So to do, send the mail. Okay, let's run add to DB. And we'll add something. Let's go and find an item that we can set a price for it. There we go. Okay. Let's find something at random. Get the URL of that. Now, I wonder if that'll break it because it's got a comma in there. That'll be interesting to test. There's the link. Anything under 6,000, or I say 60,000, I'd be willing to, to keep. So if we run that again, I wonder if that's going to error because there was a comma in that one. Yeah, it did. The comma broke it. So we also have to take out commas. Um, where are we doing that? Dot replace commas with nothing. Try that again. Okay, we've got a cheaper. If I do it again, we should get cheaper. Yep, because it's finding that one item now, which is cheaper uh, than we think. Uh, all the prices should be updated. So this is going well. The next thing we need to do now is build in the email feature. So let's just make an email subroutine with text that I'm going to text link price. Let's do level price link. Okay, so how are we going to do this email? We need to go and put some environmental variables in first. Don't we? we need to put some secrets in? Let's get the secrets. And again, these are just the um, app passwords from Gmail. You will, of course, need different ones. I'm going to start off with the absolute bog standard stuff. In fact, I'm just going to go and grab a previous one. In the previous one, I just paste that in there because it's almost identical. The only difference is. Um, Product is cheaper. Right, what's the text going to be on this message? Paragraph tag. Should we make it an F string? Very good idea. So now the F string would make it go a bit strange once we got the href in it, but mm, we'll just do it and see what happens, I think. This item is now, which is below your purchase level of a href equals okay cool so after that we need to connect oh i haven't connected it yet attach it so attach it send it delete it so that looks good to me so email uh, <laughs> email me with the level the price and the link so if this works 
I should get an email with this in now. Link is not defined. Where is the URL? Okay. There's the email that's just arrived in my inbox. So that works now, but I do want to put that in there uh, because I only want to do that if the price has changed since last time. There's no point in sending you a million emails. I want it to happen once and that's it. So next time I run this, it'll send me an email, but that'll be the last email I get until the price changes. So what we need to do is put all this in a subroutine. Just click update. And then we need to bring in our scheduler. Now realistically, this, this price is not going to change that much. I'll probably set the scheduling to happen maybe once a day. Schedule every one day do updates we need a while true which does a schedule dot run pending time dot sleep one. Okay, so now with always on enabled I'll get a notification whenever the price drops or changes below the level at which I want to buy it. So we're in a really good place with that. Happy days. And that's it. That's quite sad. That's a hundred solutions and a hundred lessons done. I hope you have a great time developing whatever you want to do at first. Please, you've got skills now to go and look at the bounties and earn some cycles. That way, go and have a look and see what you can contribute to the community. Tell us what you build next.